Okay, great. Hang on. If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 30. Yeah, okay, right. I think I didn't know that was actually on the timer. That button there. Okay, so I'm just gonna get back on that platform yet again, and just go back on there and get Homer just to help me with that, with that platform there. Okay, Homer, I need your help again. Separates the four inner planets from the five All right, okay. My belt separates okay, the there we go. From my are you trying to fire lasers at me? Oh, whoa, okay. Saturn's seven rings are made of billions of ice. Jump on the poles of grab holding them, of course. Just like the heart of my ex -wife. Yeah, this is... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, good. I thought I'd do that all again. I was like, no. I was like, yeah, that was a fail, but not the fail that ends the episode. Of Neptune. What do I have to screw to get a cup of coffee around here? I've been recording this <laughs> stuff for hours. Yeesh. Surprised that it's not on the loop there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, there we are. Pluto is the only planet not yet studied closely by a space probe. Because it's boring. Well, it's boring because it's not part of the solar system, that's why. It's too boring to be part of the solar system. Even though there is uh, technically one of the coldest oh, planets out there. To wash your hair. It's bad if you do it every day, right? Okay, right. Okay, I think I've got to just go to fire the glass here and just... Aha! In college, no, I no, 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 no. Aha! Oh, no, damn it! Okay. No, oh, no, no. Good. Okay, that was close. I actually thought I was going to die there. Stop freaking me out with your unusual gliding and slingshot abilities. We're just henchmen, man. Skinner hired us. Principal Skinner? Yes, it is I. I mean, me. No, it, it is I. Yes. <clears throat> the city cut our science budget so much I needed to steal from the museum just to have visual aids. I've never heard of such an evil plan. You're like if the Iron Sheik had a baby with Rowdy Roddy Piper, times a billion. This Azaraptor's coccyx would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. Sorry, sorry. Would have been here sooner, but I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a North and a South Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You've learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. Confessing to crime doesn't pay. Book em, Wiggum. I know I'm supposed to book em. Gosh, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like having unbelievable superpowers. Alright, well that's that level done. If I actually manage to succeed in this game, guys, which I'm definitely not expecting, I'm expecting to die at some point. If I manage to succeed at this game, I'll be very surprised. But we'll see what happens because anything can happen in the Let's Play Until I Fail episode. Absolutely anything can happen. But yeah, I, I remember this is one of the first games I got for PS3 back and Well, it was released in 2007, so... Okay. Alright, so where do I, would I go then? Oh, wait. Okay, it's not like that. Okay, I just... <laughs> okay, I, I, yeah, what I remembered about this is that if you actually... Okay, so what would I do then? Ah, right, okay, right, that's what you do. Oh, duh, silly me. Yeah. You, you said the bar, finally, I managed to get the hang of it. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I... Oh wait, no, I, I fly over the fence, don't I? Yeah. Do I? Hang on. Yeah, I do. I do fly over the fence. Okay, right, I thought so. Right, and now I just pull that lever just so Homer can get in here. Okay, okay and then... And that's how you do it. Okay, right, now I remember. Memories are crawling back to me very slowly, guys. You you always get that feeling like you come back to a game you've not played in ages and it just it just comes back to you. Well, you're certainly doing your job today, Mr. So 
god. Oh, I remember that quote as well. That that was actually the first quote from, or the first line from. What you, what's the name of the episode? Was it? Oh, I can't remember. What was the name of that episode? Oh, that's gonna bug me now. I think I believe that the episode. I mean, I remember what happens in the episode. This where like, uh, like the Simpson family gets like a pool for the summer, and like uh, uh, they all get popular and everything. They all gets popular, and I think what was it that happened? And yeah, and Bart uh, broke his leg in that episode. That that was what happened. I remember that. That that was quite a classic one to start off uh, season six, right? Change location. Yeah, you know, change location. All right, hang on. Let's just go a bit closer to the destination where I need to go. Yeah, here it is. Right. Yeah, those bus stops uh, can be used. It was right behind Moe's Tavern. You've got to be joking me. <laughs> of all the places where it could be, it's right behind there. I don't know why. It... In a pantomime, they said, look behind you. I'm like, yeah, I know now. Only 20 more years and I can retire on a teacher's pension. Okay, right. So, around the world in 80 bytes. Oh, no, this one. I actually didn't think that this level was next, actually. I thought that was later on, but... There you go. Around the world in 80 bytes. So basically, this this level's a parody of Around the World in 80 days. Based on the title there. Sorry, that's my uh, phone going off there. I'll just... Uh, I forgot to put it on silent there. Chewing. Chewing's for chumps. Nothing but swallow. Nothing but swallow. I hope I win. Last year I was the first guy to barf. Barf? Please, in this business, we refer to that as a Roman incident. That does sound a lot classier. What are you worried about? You have video game powers on your side. It's like cheating, but cheating. Woohoo! Cheating! Duffman welcomes you to the Duff Ultimate Eating Challenge. I'll dedicate this gorgeon to my dearly departed mother. She choked you in a haggis eating contest. I recuperare mi dignidad. With great hunger comes great responsibility. Gentlemen, start your digestive tracks. On your mark, get set. Alright, here we go. Hi, right, Barney. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks to my awesome powers from Tekken, I'm gonna annihilate all of you. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and it's this way. Okay. Impersonating an eater? Really? Well, impersonating a fighter is more like a Wiggum because I'm impersonating perhaps a Tekken fighter that you may know of. No, is this an. Oh, this is Mexico. Ah, Viva La. Or Mexico. Uh. You could. I was about to say a Mexican, like, a hat is edible, really? But no, no, that, that was me being stupid. That's basically a taco hat. I entered Germany. Oh, and, oh, I forgot this was timed. Oh, right. Ah, pretzels. German pretzels. Guten Tag. You're all going down. Ah. Viva la France! Oh, don't screw me, Willie. I'm gonna enter Scotland. Scotland is over the wall, I know that. But there's Eiffel Tower. Oh, there's uh, Frere Jacques playing uh, on the accordion there. Alright, I'm gonna need Bart here because uh, he's uh, gonna need to do this. Yeah, if you run out of time here, I believe it's game over. So. Don't wanna have to. Don't wanna end up running out of time here. So if I reach an hour here, guys, I'm gonna end the session because I don't wanna uh, have it beat too long. But like I said, if I succeed at this game, I'm gonna be very amazed because I have never succeeded, and this is a fact. Ever since I started this series, I have never succeeded at, at any game yet. Okay. Okay. Right. I need to face the right direction first. Come on. No. Okay. There we go. I always remember it ended up getting the wrong direction here. Oh, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will do that, Willie. Just you wait. All right, now it's time to enter Scotland. All right, Willie.
there we go. Now I can pull this lever. And now we're entering to Bonnie Scotland. Ah, Bonnie Scotland. Since I am from Scotland after all, I may as well say that it is very Bonnie. Oh crap, mate. I wonder what they're going to play here as kind of a theme here. Ah, I guess. I, I, I may as well say this, guys. I may as well be honest. I, I, you're probably going to be thinking, what? You're Scottish and you don't like this? I have tried haggis before, guys, and I don't really like it. I'm just not keen on haggis. I mean, I've had vegetarian haggis before, which is um, better, in my opinion, than natural haggis. That's not to say that I'm a vegetarian, I do eat meat, but it's just a haggis I, I'm just not a huge fan of. I think I, I like it better with... I, I don't like it on its own, but I like it with, uh, well, mashed potatoes and, uh, well, mashed uh, turnips. Ah, uh, speaking of the backpipes. Right, I need you, Bart. Get over here. Get over there while that's playing. Scotland the Brave. Come well, on, Bart, you can be brave and enter. No, no, that's the wrong way. Oh, I'm going to run out of time, aren't I? Oh, no, maybe not. I made it. Good old bagpipes, you're still playing Skull on the Brave and I still made it. You are on my side after all. Only temporarily though, you just ran out of air when I... When I got there. Oh, and this is uh, Italy. This last. Wow, when in Rome. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just had to say that. Italy, is this the last place you go or is there another place to go? Oh no, I think there's more. Ah, spaghetti. I like spaghetti and meatballs, one of the, my favourite foods there. I've had this is my favourite chance to talk about some favourite foods. I like fish and chips, spaghetti and meatballs, uh, pizza I like as well. Oh, pizza. Mmm, pizza. I'll just uh, go across. Is that a huge meatball that I'm hitting there? Wow. Oh, don't be upset, Homer. There's still plenty of food where it's at. Where there's a plenty of food where it's at. I think that's how you say it. Right now, I believe it's what is over here. Actually, I've got plenty of time on my hands, so I might as well do a little bit of exploring to see where you go next. Aha! Here it is. I believe this is the last place you go. It's America. America, the beautiful. Okay, right. I need to swap characters here. Where's, where's Bart? Where's Bart? Right, okay. Yeah, Homer's gonna be coming to me. Yeah, I, I, I know. The, the AI always follows you. Whenever you're playing a co-op game, the AI always follows you wherever you go. Right, Bart, I need you to open that gate to... to America. To the USA. Okay. Is it right at the top here? Aha, yeah. I just gotta pull out a lever. The only Simpsons game I haven't covered on my channel so far is The Simpsons Wrestling. Alright, here we go. Right. Homer. Now it's time to enter America. Ah, huge cheeseburger. I like it. Oh, the Statue of Liberty is holding up. Oh, along with a huge french fry there. I don't think I've ever seen such a beautiful sight. Okay, a lot eat a lot of burgers here because that's what I need here. I need that, that those burgers to get me energy. Burgers, hot dogs. It's uh, American food for you there. <laughs> Wait, what do I do here again? I think I just got this time. Ah, yeah, this. Right, and then I hit that. Ah, that's what you do. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. And I should be able to stomp down on here. Oh, there's no, I've noticed there's no time limit there. This is kind of like a boss, actually, now. Except this doesn't attack you. Somehow, some reason. Wait a minute, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's just pieces of the statue. I thought it was another food there. I was like, what is that food when I assume? I thought that was, like, ribs or something. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Hang on. Nope. There we go. And then, last hole. And that's it. And that cheeseburger is mine. Let's eat all these burgers up. And that's it. A lot of food has been gorged. Consumed.
that was my choking hand. Still, you did great. Homer, Duffman is proud to declare you our ultimate eating champion. Oh, yeah. Here to present you with the Red Barkley Championship belt is last year's champion. Who will need to get that adjusted? Akira, how did you win? You're so tiny. Technique. <laughs> And now, the losers have to clean up! Oh, yeah! You maniac! You blew it up! Ah, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Hey, let's reference more mopping. Oh, God, that... I always remember that last bit of the cutscene where it was like, You maniac, you blew up! Damn you all to hell! <laughs> uh... You blew up a statue of liberty, you maniacs. Ah, uh, nice, uh, That was a very great reference to... Well, an obvious reference to the Planet of the Apes movie. Alright, it's time for the next mission now. I believe this is where you play as... Is it Bart and Lisa you play as now, I think? Yes, it is. Because you go to the logging factory. I thought it was Marge and Lisa next, but that is the, the mission after this one, I think. Sometimes I worry that my husband is nothing but a crude stereotype. Okay, I have no comment on that. But anyhow, yes. You've all done your episode, look for the beam of light, which is what I'm going to do right now. In fact, what is this way? What's through here? Okay, I can't smash that open. Okay, aha. There's the beam of light. That's what I need to follow. Gotta say, guys, I'm coming back to YouTube. It's great. I mean, despite me, like, you know, being busy with everything, like, you know, work and, like, preparing for my teaching diploma, which I think is going great. The preparations are going very well and I'm, it's been all set in stone. This is still very good to come back to and I'm climbing back up again in terms of, uh, well, you know, I, I climbing back up again in terms of views and subscribers and everything, which is great. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I didn't actually think I would get... Uh, that far again when coming back. So, it's a very good welcome that I go back. Alright, okay, I'm gonna swap the bar here. Where are you? Right, I need you over here at this beam of light bar because you're the one who's going to this level, no Homer. So, trying to think of what else to talk about. If any of you have ever played, oh, Lisa the Tree Hugger, that's a direct reference to the, the actual episode in season 12, if I remember correctly. I think it was like the, the season twelve was uh, called at least the uh, the tree hugger, tree hugger, that's what it was called. But if any of you've ever played this game, guys, what do you think of it compared to other Simpsons games that you've played in the past? And would you also like to? Bart, Dad said you have superpowers. That's amazing. How'd you get them? Manual. That manual has staggering metaphysical implications. We have to take it to the proper authorities. We could do that, but wouldn't you like to know what your powers are first? I have powers? Wow. With these abilities, I can be a force for social justice. Oh, God. Can we skip this level? Come on. It'll be fun. You can hurt a lot of bad guys. Well, if there's going to be hurting... So, we'll cut down all the forests in Springfield and turn each tree into a single luxury toothpick. Great idea, Mr. Burns. If one tiny question, won't that lead to uh, environmental disaster? If you want to make an omelet, you have to wreck a few planets. Well said, sir. Well said. All right, okay. Just a couple of things to comment on that scene there. Bart said, oh, if there's hurting involved, well. Oh, thank you very much. I just learned that from Tekken, like I said so many times. My main inspirations are, well, Jun Kazama, Kazuya, Heihachi, well, you know, all the rest. <laughs> okay, is that... Oh, no, 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 you don't. Oh, and I can use the saxophone here instead of... Oh, why can't I use why can't I use the clarinet? Well, well, I know that Lisa doesn't play the clarinet, but if it would mean that level, I, I definitely would use the clarinet. I definitely m put my name on display here. In fact, you know, I yeah, I might as well show this. If you play the saxophone here, it'll stun the enemies here. <laughs> 